All right guys, Noah here with Custom RC Mods, and in today's episode, I've got my fleet update for summer 2021. Buckle up, this is gonna be a long video. I'm going through all my planes, quads, and cars over my past flying season since my last update video. So yeah, there's a lot to talk about. Hopefully I'll be able to set up a table of contents down somewhere on the bar below. So you can go ahead and scrub around and find what you're looking for, but we're gonna go ahead, waste no time, get right into it here. So first things first, we've got the FT Bushwhacker moving from left to right, of course. And I haven't done any videos on this plane. However, I have flown it and it is amazing. I love this thing once again. I've made some improvements on it. Namely, I've added 3D printed landing gear here instead of the stock wire one, which is this is a huge upgrade in itself. And it really is awesome, especially with the bush tires on there um, rather than foam wheels. So I really like that. It's flying great. Not too much to say about it. You might see a video here about it in the future. Up here is an FT Edge 540. This is my second ever speed build kit. And I've flown it once. It flew okay. Didn't make a video on it. I may in the future, may not. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Moving on to my FT Goblin, I actually just flew that tonight, lost a vertical stabilizer, um, but it still flies, just have to do some minor repairs, so nothing too much to say about that. And down the ladder, we got the FT Bloody Baron. My rates are super low on it, but I did bring it to Flight Fest and it flew well. Um, I just need to go ahead and play with my setup on there a little bit. It's super fast and sometimes I just feel like I don't have enough control of the airplane, which is obviously really important. Up here is the FT Bloody Wonder, which really needs a rebuild. This one is a flight test combat airplane, of course, and it's got a lot of damage from the water that was there, all the rain and the dew. Uh, so I need to go ahead and rebuild it, or at the very least, get new vertical stabilizers on there because it's missing those right now. Um, but other than that, the Bloody Baron loves the new power system, and everything's there. I just need to rebuild it if I choose. Now we have the Custom RC Mods wall wing, and I actually just rebuilt this with the motor system that was in a different plane. So we've got everything there for it to fly once again, so nothing too much to worry about, but I also don't have any vertical stabilizers on there. So yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be interesting when I go to remade in it once again, but again, it's, everything's there, so it should fly. Up here, I got my FT Explorer. This thing's flying great. I brought it to FPV Fest, did touch and goes all over Edgewater Air Park, and hit some cool gaps. Unfortunately, I nailed a picnic table at my local flying field when I was trying to go through a shelter. So yeah, unfortunately, we got a little bit of wrinklage on there, but it's still flying amazing. Best Explorer that I've ever had. Okay, up here, I've got the FT Bronco, and this thing is still a little bit beat up, um, but it's flying well. I just replaced the props on it and got everything all I tightened down, I had a small little incident with ESC calibration, but other than that, this thing is flying great, and you'll hopefully see it sometime soon here on the channel. Now, up there is the FT Simple Soar, and despite the fact that I folded the wings on it and the fuselage has been broken into three pieces on several occasions, it's actually flying really, really good. Um, I put the power system off the bloody bearing when that got upgraded onto there, so no more uh, hand propping or motor start issues, so we are all good to go with that airplane. Um, and yeah, it's flying really good for what it is at least. Okay, so over here I have the uh, FT Mini Punjet, and I have a little issue with this because the wing's a little bit warped, so I'm probably gonna try to fly it again, but it's probably not gonna stay in the fleet long term. I might switch it out for a Baby Baron, um, like they did in the FT Bloody Baron video, um, or something else similar, so I'm not totally sure, but another small plane is in the works that's gonna replace this one here in the future. Now, normally I have the Mustang right here, and that's why the Mini Mustang's here, but I've got stuff switched around based on the geometry of these Warbirds, so we're gonna go to the Mini Mustang, and yeah, the Mustang's over there, but Mini Mustang, uh, unfortunately, when I went to rebuild this thing, I put too much thrust angle in the power pod, so it didn't fly, so I need to rebuild my power pod before it flies again, but obviously it's beat up, um, so I'm not totally sure about the future of this on my channel anyways, but I'll definitely be rebuilding it if I end up scrapping it. Now, for the Nano Goblin here, this thing is flying amazing. I've got iNav all uh, configured on here, as well as Crossfire and the DJI FPV system. This is a game changer. It's awesome. However, unfortunately, it doesn't fly that well in any sort of wind, but when it's dead calm, this thing is awesome. Now, if you didn't watch my recent video on the ReadyMade RC Mini Recruit, I got it all back up and flying here, and this thing is a great flying airplane, extremely stable, reliable, and a ton of fun. I was just out flying it tonight and having a blast. 
Same to be said for the Strix Goblin here. This thing is an absolute screamer. I've got it conservatively set up here with a small battery and a small prop, but I could go even faster if I want to. My personal best on here is 106 miles per hour, and I'm thinking that's pretty good for this setup. I have a DJI Air unit all picked out for this thing, so I definitely will be doing FPV here in the near future. All right, up to the P40 here. This one is becoming one of my new favorites, definitely rivaling the FT Mustang at this point. Uh, it just flies so smooth. I'm not totally sure what it is about it, um, but all these Mustang uh, P40 and Spitfire, all the Warbirds are awesome, awesome flight test planes. Uh, so I would highly recommend those if you're looking for a good trainer, first four channel, some kind of airplane just like that. So definitely like that. And it's similar things to be said for those Mustang and Spitfire the Warbirds in a second. Now up here, of course, I have the Super B and unfortunately I crashed it and broke my power pods and now the thrust angles are all out of whack. So before I fly it again, I need to get that rebuilt or at least rebuild the motor pods. Uh, but it's not a big deal. Uh, I will go ahead and do that and this will be a great flying plane in my fleet. Over here I have the FT Mini Aero. I just replaced the motor that I burn out at FPV Fest and I'm now running Crossfire in it for extra reliability. This is definitely one of the best foam board planes I've ever built. However, it's starting to take a toll um, on the, you know, I guess it's starting to disintegrate is what I'm trying to say and that's taking a toll on the flying experience. So I did make some new uh, vertical stabilizers that are also already beat up. Um, I'm not totally sure, it's already a year and a half old, so we'll kind of see what happens with this in the future. Now over here is the Simple Stick, the Hanger Simple Stick, signed by the Hanger of course, and I brought this to Flight Fest, uh, and the Hanger actually flew it, which is awesome, I made a video on that, and yeah, it was a really, really awesome experience. I'm glad that I got to see how he likes to fly it, and I definitely highly recommend this build right here, it is a ton of fun. Now, the micros are unchanged from the last update. I haven't done anything with them, haven't even flown them. Um, and that's kind of just standard because, honestly, I'm not overly interested in that area of the hobby. But I could gut the Sport Cabess here very soon and put it in some sort of airframe that's custom built rather than uh, buying, like, 30 bucks worth of replacement parts to get that fuselage all back together. So I'm not totally sure. But either way, you know, both of these kind of have their issues. And I'm not really looking to spend too much money on them. Now... Over here, of course, we got the two Warbirds. Mustang is in great shape, mid flying well. So is the Spitfire. I did a review on the Spitfire. I was going to do reviews on more planes, um, but both of these, all three of these, matter of factly, are flying excellent. So I can highly recommend them. And I was going to do a comparison video, but I kind of ran out of time. I'm moving into school very soon, so uh, I, I can't really get that video filmed, unfortunately. Now, up there behind the Spitfire, I have the Versa Wing, which is also a victim of Flight Fest carnage. And yeah, I just flew it in the rain and the dew and it just started disintegrating. But I also did get to use the lights inside for the first time during the night flight at Flight Fest. So I really did enjoy that. And overall, it's just a great plane. I, I definitely had a good time flying it and I would highly recommend it. Up here is the FT Simple Storch. And this thing has been great as well. I've really enjoyed it, especially from a, a speed build perspective. Uh, this is my very first one I ever did. It's had some crashes. I've bent the landing gear a few times, but overall, it's not a big deal. It still flies amazingly, um, and I'm really, really happy with it. It's definitely a good trainer, given the FT Simple Scout a run for its money. Uh, and it, again, if you watch the flight video I did on it, it kind of combines the Simple Soar and the Simple Cub into a really, really awesome trainer-style aircraft. So nothing bad to report on it at the moment. Um, but it's doing really good right now. Now the FT Mini Vector I actually just repaired after we beat it up and I switched the prop on there. It's a 50-50 prop rather than the 6x35 tri-blade. Uh, so this one's a tri-blade on here and it needs a new motor desperately. The one on here is screaming and crying for help every single time I fly it. So I don't know. Hopefully I don't catch it on fire again like I did with my last Vector, but we'll see. So over here is my FT Simple Scout, and unfortunately I'm having some motor cogging and sag issues on this. I'm not sure if my, it's my ESC or my motor, but maybe the current draws. Something is causing this to sag out, and I've tried different props, stuff like that. I think my motor shaft's also a little bent, so that's definitely not helping as well. I think I just need a new electronic system, and I might end up just rebuilding this the next chance I get. Now, over here is a Mini Scout, which actually got mid-aired by my buddy Joey, and yeah, he did that with his quad, but it still kept flying, and it's flying well, actually, um, but it's not looking the best, so I do have some repairs to do on it uh, for the future, but again, it still flies like that never happened, so I'm not totally sure, but again, either way, uh, I really like that plane for flying in the backyard. 
Now over here I have the FT Vigan and we've actually been flying this thing recently. Joey uh, flew it through some gaps and he actually really likes my current setup on it. However, um, I, again, it, most of the time it just sits right there and looks pretty on the wall. So, you know, I has again gotten this flying in, but I don't really have too many plans for a lot of rigorous flying with this airplane. Up here is the Sea Otter, and I haven't flown this since the Maiden. I just don't really have a large need to, honestly. I'm not totally sure why. It's just not something that's been ever, ever really been too intriguing for me, especially after I had some initial frustrations on the Maiden. So not a big deal. I hope we'll fly it someday, but it's not really in the near future. Now, this plane up here is an EDO model, EDO model. I don't know. It's some European Banggood. I'm not totally sure what brand it is, but it's EPS, and it's a Cessna 185 Skywagon, and I got it for free from my buddy Joey. Thank you very much. It flies excellent. I had to do some uh, mods to it and fix it up a little bit to get it to fly, but it's an awesome, awesome airplane, and I've really had a good time flying with it. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a video out with it soon. Um, but check out my Instagram if you want to see more on this thing because it's truly a unique airplane. Now, over here is the FT-22. I haven't flown it since I did the uh, past flight video on it. Um, it's, I guess it's okay. I beat the nose up a little bit, but I'm overly just not satisfied with this airplane as a whole. Um, built like four or five of them, and every single one of them has crashed after a little bit because it's just not consistent. So... That's kind of what I'm dealing with it, with, with it, but I'm not overly motivated to keep flying it, especially when I have 10 other aircraft I have in line in front of it to fly. So either way, not a big deal. Uh, hopefully we'll get around to it, but for now it's just sitting up there on the wall. Right here is a, a Volantex RC Phoenix V2 uh, sailplane. And I got this one for free at FPV Fest. The dude was just going to throw it away. I'm not sure if it's going to fly again in the near future. The fuselage and all that is all good. However, you can see we're missing a good chunk of the wing here. And the wings are like 60 or 70 bucks. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go foam board or if I'm going to just order a new wing or something like that. You can see my control surfaces are all messed up. And that just dropped behind there. But either way... It's a fun plane. I'm definitely either going to just scrap it for electronics or get it back up and flying. It's not just going to sit here, hopefully, but who knows? I'll do something to it, and I'm glad I got it for free. Now, over here is the Strix Stratosurfer, and if you paid attention to any of my recent videos, you know that this is definitely my new favorite airplane in the fleet. It just flies so good. It's an amazing FPV platform. You can do touch and goes everywhere, and it just, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't really want to say repetitive things about it. Uh, but it's such a versatile plane, um, and it flies completely on rails um, throughout the entire flying experience. So I like that about it. Unfortunately, it is really hard to get right now. So if you're trying to pick up one for yourself, you may have some trouble with it. I got it used. I've done some videos on it. Go ahead and check those out if you want to know more about it. But I also do have this DJI air unit for it in this pod. So it's a, another nose, and it just routes right into the XD60 lead uh, via pass-through to power, power that air unit. I've got some more videos that I mo might post in the future. But for now, uh, yeah, I really like that Strata server, and it's coming with me to school. So really excited for that. Moving on to the EC1500. I was meaning to film a video on this in the past. However, I haven't quite gotten around to it, so well, who knows if I'll get one filmed in the next few days, but for now, it's just sitting up there looking great, and I'm really happy with this thing. It needs a new paint job, uh, but overall, it's just a really cool airplane, and I'm happy to have it in my fleet. Now, next to that, or actually behind it, rather, is my guinea pig, and I've had some issues with motor vibrations, uh, you, as you saw in that crash video, so I bolted them down. I think we're good to go, but there's definitely been some hanger rash sustained, and I, I mean, there's not too much to say about it. It's a guinea pig. It flies pretty well, um, but it's, it's not looking as good as it did uh, back a few months ago. Now, right here is my mini guinea that I actually built last week, and I had some frustrations getting this to fly. I think it's just a little bit too tail heavy, um, but it's flies well for the first few minutes while it's flying, and then something happens, and it stall spins out, and it goes straight into the ground, hence the nose being all beat up. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it be for a minute, and hopefully I'll be able to re, um, you know, connect with it later and fly it again. But I'm not totally sure. I think that we're just going to go ahead and roll with that for now. Um, we'll see what happens down the road because, again, I have a lot of other airplanes and projects to be working on. All right, so that's going to wrap it up now for the uh, planes. We're going to move quickly onto the quads, which I don't have too much to say. Pretty much everything is the same as it always has. I haven't quite acquired anything new. Um, everything is all good to go. I just have to replace my antenna. 
on the five inch here, get a new camera cable for this one over here and a few other small things. But other than that, everything's great. This is all coming with me to college here on the pegboard. And yeah, that's that. Let's go ahead and move on to the cars. Uh, I did sell the Stampede 4x4. I sold the Rally already, um, and I just really didn't need those. A lot of these are pretty repetitive, redundant. They perform similarly. I do have two Rustlers, and I have this one listed on eBay right now. Um, I already got it sold, but then the buyer backed out, which is frustrating. Um, but either way, yeah, that's it for these cars, the Slash 4x4. Um, and if this, is, this is one of the best cars ever, honestly. I've been driving it and jumping it and having a blast with it but um, unfortunately but all these are just a little bit too big to bring to school with me so the only one i'm bringing is the scx24 here i got this i got some new uh, wheel hubs that are brass on there so it's an awesome little crawler and of course it's good for crawling around my desk and you know killing some time mini revo needs a little bit of help um needs a new spur gear and i need to put these rpm a arms on but other than that uh, it's good I have a new uh, drive gear for the Rustler. I just need to go ahead and throw it on, and then I can put it all back together. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now uh, with the cars. Not too much to update on. I do those regularly, but uh, it takes a little bit of a backseat compared to the rest of my airplanes. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for the fleet update. I know I went fast. I'm sorry if I talk fast. Go ahead and slow it down if you really need to. Uh, but I really value your time, and I didn't want to make... Um, at a huge deal or just you know slow it down and make you drag it on to find out what you want to see so either way that's going to wrap it up i hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining and if you did or you have any questions about this video or any of the contents aside go ahead and leave a comment down below like subscribe all that youtube stuff you know how it goes around here i'll have another video up with some other random fun rc stuff here in the very near future so again subscribe if you don't want to miss it and turn that bell on if you like to get notified every single time i upload that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.